Hello everyone, this is Audacity here, and today we are going to be reacting to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 32, The Fewer Sun. But first, let's talk about what happened last week in between what happened to my episode 31 reaction. So basically what happened is that I did react to it, but it had a bit of an issue where the audio didn't come through. It was a weird process. And then I forgot to do my Audacity audio and stuff like that. So I was like, well, I, all you have is like my expression. And so it's like, ask it, I'll throw it out. Uh, so yeah, I did react to it. I really enjoyed the episode. I really liked how we got into see Knox's uh, father. Not, sorry, not father. I don't know what I'm talking about. The, um, his wife and son. That was a really nice moment. Really nice. Good moment right there. We got to see a little bit more of... Basically, Edward has told Mustaine that he knows about the thing. About the trial and everything that he's going to try to do. And stuff like that. Uh, it was a... Big episode, basically. It was it was another setup episode. There's a lot of setup episodes in part three, really, for season three. Uh, so I have been really enjoying the season three so far. So I just wish that my reaction to episode thirty one didn't get oh get fucked up. That was annoying. That was the first one that's ever done that. I don't know why the audio got, didn't get through. It was weird, to say the least. I, I still don't understand how that even happened in the first place. So that's a real bummer as well. <laughs> but oh well, I guess. Ouch. Uh, so yeah, conclusion. I really liked last week's episode. Again, uh, we now know that Marco is, in fact, alive and well, obviously. Um, well, not obviously, but you, you know what I mean. This is the thing that, it was, a, they keep faking his death. It's getting really annoying. Like, someday it's going to be permanent, alright? Someday it's actually going to be permanent. So, it's like, when is it ever going to be, like, for sure? You know, now his face is like all fucked up and everything. So one of the reasons why Scar did that was so that he, uh, Marco, would not be unrecogniz unrecognizable to the public and stuff like that. Especially the villains, because now Kimberly is after Marco and stuff like that. Kimberly has now a full-fledged Philosopher's Stone. He got set free from jail for the main villains and stuff like that. So... It's another setup stuff. I really, I actually really like how they handle the setup episodes. And then once we get to like the good shit, that's when we get to like the good shit. So I'm guessing maybe this might be this when we get to the good shit. Now the episode title is named The Fewer Sun. So we're definitely going to get more of The Fewer Sun. Uh, I'm wondering how he's going to be important to this episode and why he's a main title. It's very, I'm very curious of what's going to go down with this one um i swear to god the sun is poor. i don't think he's gonna find out i think he might find out in the future i don't think he's gonna find out in this episode maybe who knows that his father is kind of oh, a bitch <laughs> kind of an asshole um i don't know how his son would, would handle that but I'm curious as to why the title is named The Fear of Sun. But obviously we're going to have to watch it to kind of find out. You know, and that's just what's going to happen. We're going to have to watch it to find out. So, without any further ado, let's react to episode 32, The Fear of Sun. In 3, 2, 1, play. Let's go. Oh, oh so sort they're of still looking for it. Does yeah. look like her. But it's definitely not. <laughs> it's definitely not Mei Shang. Sorry. Thank you. God damn it. Where are you hiding? This still here. Oh, what are you now? <laughs> What are you all up to? Okay, going to the title card, I guess. Episode 32. 
Oh, on the train. Why are we back here? I'm guessing they're on the way. Yeah, they're on the way to the north. I suppose. So. Oh, uh, careful, mate. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. Well... There's not much to look at in East City. <laughs> no, I'm just here transferring things. Uh-huh. It's like, sure, nice little distraction there, May. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> this scar. Huh? Hmm? What are you doing? I've never seen a cat like that. Strange. Why why was she acting like that? Hmm. Very odd indeed. I don't think that's something really to go off of, but who knows? See now be weird. So yeah, so so fine. I know I heard Uh, Sky, what you gonna do when he comes for you? And you're gonna be fucked. Bye bye. Cause, trust me, you're not gonna catch up with him. Trust me, you're not. He was seen with a middle aged man who had black hair, right? Yep. Burge. Mucker. So yeah, he's still in his search for, you know, Marco and stuff. Hmm. While trying to apprehend him, Scar must be getting desperate. But that could help us. Hmm. He's leaving us a good trail. Oh, yes. I can't pronounce that. That's... It's like I seriously can't pronounce that. But now Kimberly knows kind of where Scar is now. Oh boy. Um. <sighs> oh, it's that person again. Hmm. I'm guessing that's the same person. Kind of had the same outfit, you know. Why are you acting like that? Suspicious woman. Why is he suspicious? What? So weird. Even Kimley was like, hmm, strange woman indeed. These huge oh man. Who is she? Yeah. Oh, this is the place for it. <laughs> no it's shit. Impressive. When you reach my age. You think about it being you in the box, instead of watching it go by. <laughs> Surely you can't work. Hmm? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? How? <laughs> god damn it, dude, I've been fooled, I've been fooled. I thought the situation... <laughs> what the fuck? Uh huh. Sure, buddy. What is it you need? For fuck's sake! I knew I was like, oh my god, are you serious? Uh, like so suspicious woman, huh? Oh, that goddamn Ike. I see. The central senior staff have all turned, have they? Mm -hmm. You've gained some information. Oh, so even he much. doesn't know, so he's not a part of it. Okay, so that makes sense. Can trust That's fine. From you, you won't get anywhere. So now he knows the truth. 
But why does he dress like this? I'm guessing they're hiding maybe from... That's why he doesn't get in trouble or something. The hell was that? Yeah. Well, it's like, in this show, not entirely. Damn. Stuck with the inglorious job of cleaning up the messes in the eastern area. And speaking of messes, do you remember the difficulties that we had in Lior? In Lior? A false priest. Oh, that's right! That was in the way, way back in the early days of the show. God damn, I totally forgot about that. That was like one of the first big things of the first traces for the Philosopher's Stone, you know? I totally forgot about that, to be honest. Yes, but then the forces from Central came in. Mm -hmm. And all of the Eastern forces were dismissed. Were you aware of that? Yeah. Hmm. Peace in Lior was shattered. And then everything went wild due to... I think they were corrupted? I think if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I watched that episode. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, General, but someone like you, you don't know how to sit by and watch. You can't do nothing. Yeah. Especially when your soldiers are all hardened veterans. Men who Damn. fought in the Ishval Hmm. Why are you laughing and shit? I wonder what the note was for. What was that about? Central Command, just when I thought my ambition was dead, I'm finding myself fired up again. Oh boy. <laughs> you don't want to mess up your makeup. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, because they were looking for... Oh, no, and that's correct, because he found them, you know, but they were on the airport now. A whole different location. No juice. Why is there so little information available on Alka history? I wonder why. Rate, I'm thinking we might as well go to Shing. <laughs> It'd be hard. Crossing the... What the fuck? What the fuck, Armstrong? What are you doing, my dude? What the fuck? There you are, Edward. Jesus Dorian. fucking Christ! You, damn it, Major! What are you doing? Jeez. This is a library. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. May Shane. May and May Shane. I'm running errands for him today. The word is, the girl is headed north. According to an eyewitness, mm -hmm. she departed by train from East City very recently. Oh, boy. North. And now he knows. <laughs> it's like, GG, man. Hm. This car is there, too. Hm. I've never been to Duck Shit. First thing, see her. See her? What do you mean? Even further north than Northern Command. Oh. Northern Wall breaks. What? Are you fucking serious? Oh shit! Full metal alchemist. No way! No fucking way, no the Armstrong, oh god! So, oh, for the love of me! <laughs> oh, what? How are you gonna escape this, buddy? Oh, the train, yeah, there you go, but oh my god! 
So I wonder, is that Armstrong's sister or what? Either a sister... I, I'm guessing sister. That makes the most sense to me. I don't see it as being a mother. You know, I figured it would be training. Report to command. They jumped on a train bound for West City. Well, duh. Damn. They already know, buddy. They already know. It would be kind of pointless to, you know, be able to add to them. Yeah. <laughs> I should have asked her more about it when we were at Dr. Knox's place. True. Who's this? Ling did say it was special. Oh, I'm guessing here. this is... I'm guessing this is where... Yeah, I figure it's if you're a son. Maybe. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's a library. So, what do you study? Something cool? It's called Alkahestry. What's Alkahestry? It's alchemy from the country Xing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's from Xing, huh? But you and your brother are already good enough at alchemy to... Yep, he's got a point, but it's not quite enough, you know, <laughs> for other things. Dude, imagine, oh no, if he, if the kid finds out. Yeah. With it, we need to figure out how to fight against the homunculi. Mm -hmm. So what am I supposed to say? Uh, you gotta, uh, uh lie! Uh huh. It's like it, he's right, but still, it's like you're not doing that just for that. <laughs> so, Wyvern, right calm down. <laughs> First, we'll need to stop by the hotel. <laughs> the fucking kid. Mr. Armor called you brother. Does that mean you're Edward Elric, the Full Metal Alchemist? Yes. Yeah. Oh, cool. You are a tiny alchemist, just like everyone said. Oh, damn. He was bad, man. <laughs> Even the little kid is calling you little. That's if he was bad. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh god, and they know the truth too. Fuck. How did this happen? We were supposed to be heading north. Yep, and they I'm got so into a, this little of a situation. Uh oh. Be very careful what you all say, please. Don't tell them the truth. Oh. Aww. <laughs> My father out as well. Uh, Ouch. Uh, shit. Yeah, fear Bradley. Tell me, Celine, do you get along with your father? You like him? Yeah, of course. And what kind of man is he? Hmm. Ouch. Uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you say that again? <laughs> it's something he always insists upon. I wonder if she knows. I highly doubt it, but who knows? I'd prefer if he took it a little easier. Uh oh. It's nothing new. He's always been devoted to his work. That's. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Shots fucking fired, dude. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, and who is this? Oh fuck! Uh, hey, buddy.
I mean, all I know is that's a little trick. I swear to God, if you even hate... And his brother were paying us a visit. Mm -hmm. Hello, sir. Long time no see. Long time. I just saw you boys. my mind well it's because we aren't related by blood yeah we, we i knew about that any children so, our own. Damn. so we adopted salim and he's our son now i'm proud of my boy he's going into a fine oh you know you i call it i call no he's bullshitting he's complete bullshitting you know we know the complete truth of what he thinks we definitely tell on their faces you know. You know. Fuck you. See you accepted the command center. So this is kind of, you know, uh -huh. it's a side oh, of you are not used to seeing, that's all. Hmm. I see. But as you can tell, even a man like me has a family waiting for him at home. I swear to God, I want to punch him right in the face so badly right now. You're leaving already? Yes. You know I have duties to get back to, Selene. God. I feel bad for his family. Please. I feel so bad. Because they have... You're welcome anytime, State Alchemist. Uh-huh. I'm... I... Mm. Nope, 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 nope. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh, damn. Poor, poor hard guy, dude. I feel so. I really hope Salim and her, his wife doesn't fight now, but I'm getting the feeling they will at some point. I'm getting the feeling. God. Let's go. Oh yeah, and then they head to the north and shit. If she doesn't get killed by Kimberly, that is, that's the big thing if you can get to her first. Or at least get to her to the point that, you know, well. Oh, goodness. I feel so bad for both of them, for Salim and his wife. And Bradley's wife. It's just. It sucks. Especially when we know the true intention. His. Uh, Bradley's two intentions. To escape us again, did he? <sighs> it sucks. Hmm. So, what do you. What's your next clue? But where he was last sighted. Right here. And West City is there. Oh, so that is talking about West City. Okay, this two, it looks like a little bit of both wise. It is both wise, but it looks a bit different, huh? What's that? That's the question. It's possible. That's likely the option. They might have jumped off. All right then. After they jumped off, which way would they go? North. South. North, because that's where they're going to to do find his research. He's gonna know. He's figuring north, yeah. He's gonna catch up to them. Fuck. This is. I really wonder what's gonna. Ah, this end. Oh my god, dude. I feel so bad for Salim and the wife, you know, it... <sighs> Honestly, at this point, is really like... I think he's bullshitting the entire thing about caring for his family, but at the same time... 
who knows? Even he, but you could definitely tell like the anger that the elf Elwix were there. It was just like, oh, it's like you just have this. But yo, Armstrong now, another Armstrong. Oh my god. So yeah, I think it's likely uh, Armstrong's sister. You know, that's what I'm guessing. That's my biggest guess. That just makes the most sense to me. You know, just imagine another Armstrong. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. That's going to be quite a sight to see. <laughs> oh, boy. Is there going to be an end credit scene? Oh, shit. I think there is going to be. Fuck. Let's get ready for it. Yep. There's going to be an end credit scene. What are they going to show? What are they going to show? I really like this ending theme. This ending theme is really brewing on me, you know? I really like it. Alright, what are they gonna show? Are they gonna show how they got off? Oh, nope! Oh! A new outfit! Oh shit! And what's gonna do outfit? Oh. It's a new outfit! Oh shit! That looks really cool, actually. I guess it kind of makes sense that he would get a new outfit, you know? I guess that's what it is, just to reveal that, hey, he has a new outfit now. But yeah, that makes complete amount of sense that he would get an outfit like that, because, you know, he's going to a place where it would be harsh weather, you know, especially if we were wearing his outfit that he usually wears back in Grand Central, stuff like that. Oh, boy. It, I'm wonder, I'm worried that they're going to find out Salim and the wife. I'm worried they're going to find out about the truth about um, Bradley, you know. It, it's like you figure it's going to happen at some point, but at the same time, it's like... Uh, I really hope they don't, but I'm getting the feeling... I swear to God, if Bradley is so cruel, if they find out that they would kill them, that would be fucking awful. That would... If he actually did do that, if he killed Salim and his wife, that would... If he killed Salim and the wife, that would just be fucking awful. You know, uh, if they found out the truth, that would be like... Mm, I want to know how I would deal with that. If... If Bradley actually did do that, oh my god. I just feel so bad for those two, you know, because they don't know anything. They're oblivious to what's going on behind the scenes, you know. It's like... <sighs> yeah, I feel bad. I, I really do feel bad for them, for those two. But yeah, we got a review of another Armstrong. Oh, for the love of my lord. <laughs> oh, shit. That is so cool. Oh, my God. I couldn't have imagined another Armstrong, you know, in the past. Like, what? It's like, okay, that's cool that's really cool actually i'm very curious of what she's gonna be like and she's probably gonna be um as if he if she's gonna be like i'm or she's gonna be like oh my god like bradley level of scaring and stuff <laughs> oh boy because the way they reviewed it like she was like all black and out and you were like Arr. Stuff like that. And it's like, oh man, like, I don't want to fuck mess with her, you know? <laughs> it's like, ouch. Uh, oh man. But yeah, that was a great episode again. Uh, I keep, there's no bad episode of Full Metal Alchemist. Seriously, there is no bad episode of it. But I wonder um, if Kimberly actually catches up with them. You know, what's going to happen? One, we know that he needs to get Marco ASAP. That's his objective, is to get Marco. But what does that mean for Scott, May, and May Shane? One of them 
and the other guy, I forgot his name, he was so pointless. It's like, why is he here? He's just there for comedic relief at this point. It's like, why are you here, buddy? It's... If, I swear to God, if they kill them off... Well, obviously, they won't, I, they won't kill off Scar. Come on, they not gonna do that. Well, to be fair, I said that to Lost, and look what happened. They killed her off. It's like, oh my god. It's like... Now, Gluttony is technically alive, and she's just growing somewhere, you know. Because last time we saw him, he was like a baby and stuff like that. So, it's like, yeah. Um. So, yeah, this has been Hot Dusty here. Number to want me a like, comment, and subscribe for future movies like these. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.